There's a new uh, rebound video about LeBron. Aided his opponents and first times LeBron humility. Oh, 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 yes, oh yes. These oh, yes. are the times LeBron humiliated his opponents. And first up, we got the time that LeBron completely violated Ursan Ilyasova. <laughs> Dude, I missed 2018 LeBron, bro. That was just, I wish I could just re-witness that. Look, trying to block LeBron is a big mistake, but trying to posterize LeBron was the most humiliating decision of Evan Turner's career. Turner, got the step on straight. It. He is underappreciated, underrated in defense. He went up for the block. He yeah, LeBron isn't afraid to humiliate anyone, even the legendary Michael Jordan. They have 27 points in the opening frame. Here's a steal by LeBron. Here comes a show. James with the throwdown. And then the steal gets this team going. He's not even looking at the I think he was looking, looking at Michael at Jordan. I was thinking the same thing. Michael Jordan's a little left of that Charlotte bench. I think that was a look at Michael like, turn out the lights, my friend. Man, you could just see it in MJ's eyes. That was personal. But at least things didn't get violent. Because LeBron tried to kill Jason Terry, all because of some trash talk. See, back in 2013, Terry Celtics were set to face LeBron in the Heat, who had just won 22 straight games. And before their matchup, Terry decided to completely disrespect LeBron and Miami, saying, I'm not impressed with their winning streak or anything they do. And this turned out to be the last thing Terry said before nearly losing his life. Shooting 67%, they're 20 of 30 here tonight. Jason Terry, good defense. Wade from behind takes it away. Tober, pull, damn! Whoa! And a technical foul called on Miami. Just watch as they lay it up there. Watch this. Woo. That was attempted murder. Hey, somebody call an ambulance. And LeBron had no shame, because after the game, he said this. Did you even see Jason Bell? Yeah, I seen him down there. I guess he didn't see me. <laughs> Jesus, this man Bron looks like an actual psycho. But look, embarrassing NBA players is just what LeBron does. I mean, I mean, the man was humiliating his opponent. I mean, bro, like, I feel like LeBron has gotten revenge on anybody who's like beaten him. Let me let me think. <sighs> yeah. I don't, I don't know, except maybe Dirk. Like, literally Dirk. But besides that, it's, I don't As know. a damn rookie. See, back in 2003, right. during LeBron's so first West, week in the NBA, he was going up against Ron Artest and the Pacers, when late in the fourth quarter, LeBron humiliated Artest so badly, it still haunts him to this day. LeBron came into the league, yo. First game in Indiana, he gave me 25. Mm. He went to the fans and said, this is your best defender, right? I heard this, right? I'm fucking furious. I know you're furious. But I'm super fucking pissed he disrespect me, and I want to walk up to this motherfucker, and you know, he, he, he busts my ass. Damn, it's like LeBron just likes pissing people off or something. But no player was more pissed than Deshaun Stevenson. Because this dude got- I don't know if you got- hey, take it out of emote. I don't know if you guys have seen. There's a documentary. I think it's on Netflix. And it's about the um the shit that happened with the with the um with the fight in Detroit. And dude, Ron Artest is literally like a psycho. Like, legitimately, like, he even, like, basically admitted it. Like, he's actually, like, in, like literally insane. And you could tell when he's talking in interviews and shit, he is not, he is not there, bro. 
He is not all there, bro. Hi. The James, thanks for the eight months. I humiliated by LeBron in a diss track. Yeah. See, back in 2008, Deshaun's Wizards pulled off an upset win over the Cavs, and after the game, Deshaun thought it'd be a good idea to disrespect LeBron, telling reporters he's overrated, and you could say I said that. <sighs> Big mistake. Why do Because the very next day, when LeBron was asked to comment on the situation, he went off on Deshaun, saying, with Deshaun Stevenson, it's kind of funny. It's almost like Jay-Z responding to a negative comment made by Soldier Boy. It doesn't make sense to respond. And obviously, Deshaun wasn't too happy about the comparison, so he clapped back at LeBron a few days later in an interview, saying, I hope we play Cleveland in the playoffs. I'm gonna get Soldier Boy courtside seats and have him wear a Deshaun Stevenson jersey. And what do you know? A month later, Deshaun got his wish. Wizards versus Cavs in the playoffs. Soldier Boy front row in a Deshaun Stevenson jersey, watching the Wizards blow out the Cavs by 36 points. 36! So it seemed like Deshaun had come out the beef on top. Until the very next day, when LeBron's special friend, Jay-Z, recorded a freestyle taking shots at Deshaun, hitting him with bars like, uh, that's my man LeBron. We so big, we ain't gotta respond. Who the fuck overrated? If anything, they underpaid him. I don't even know y'all name. I'm too big for you to rap LeBron James. And to make matters even more humiliating, the track was debuted at a DC nightclub with the entire Wizards team in attendance. And to top it all off, LeBron went on to eliminate them from the playoffs just three games later. I bet that man Deshaun regrets talking shit. But at least this moment didn't define his entire NBA legacy. Cause the only thing John Lucas is remembered for is being humiliated by LeBron. See, back in 2012, John's Bulls were taking on the heat when midway through the first quarter, LeBron hit him with one of the most humiliating poster oh, dunks in NBA history. He dunked over this guy. There's a scoring option and a different way to score. Coming off the game. Picks off Hamilton and he goes right over Lucas. I didn't even see that on the play originally. Yeah. LeBron literally jumped over the guy, hit an alley-oop dunk, and gave him a stare. Disrespectful. You'd think the guy didn't subscribe to the channel or something. But uh, the worst was yet to come, cause just a few years later, Lucas left the Bulls and signed with the Heat. And well, they'll never let him forget what happened. Oh man, I got off the plane yesterday and somebody was like, hey, that's the dude LeBron jumped over. When I got off the plane, I was like, well, welcome to Miami. You know, every time I walk into a locker room, they got a big picture of him jumping yes, over me before, I, you know, you enter into the locker room. So I'm always reminded of what happened here. I was going to ask him. <laughs> man, poor guy. But he still doesn't have it as bad as Gilbert Arenas. Because LeBron humiliated this dude so bad, he literally needed to hire a therapist. See, it was the 2006 playoffs, Cavs versus Wizards. And late in game six, with Washington just one win away from elimination, all Gilbert had to do was make one free throw to save his team. But right before the shot, LeBron decided to sabotage Gilbert in the most savage way possible. Walking up to him and saying, if you miss this free throw, you know who's gonna win the game. This one comment had Gilbert so shook that he ended up missing the free throw, oh. giving the ball back to Cleveland. In the very next play, the Cavs hit a game-winning shot, costing the Wizards the dub and officially eliminating them from the playoffs. So after the game, Gilbert felt so humiliated by LeBron that he ended up hiring one of the top mental health trainers in the entire country just to get over it. And when he tapped me and he's like, you know, if you miss these, you know, that's game. For that one second, I became human. So I sat in the gym, took two, three thousand free throws. Mm -hmm. I even took it a step further and yeah. went with a guy named Frank in San Francisco. He trains um, military, black ops, special, you know, all mental stuff. And I went to him just extra. Just make sure my mental is focused. Mm -hmm. Look, Gilbert, you ain't the only one that needed some help. I think Damon Jones got a counselor too. 
because the way LeBron humiliated him gave the man PTSD. No, but people don't talk about like the shit that LeBron has done like that. All they try to say is that LeBron's soft and flops and is like a baby. Like they just like, dude, people are literally just hate LeBron so fucking much, bro. Literally so much for no reason. For no reason. Like if that was a if that was a Jordan or Kobe story of somebody is shoot, about to shoot a free throw and Rather Kobe or Jordan walked up to him and was like, "You missed this. It you, it, the game's over." If want, that was a story, probably like it. dude, that would be like on fucking TikTok, reposted a hundred times. People will be spamming fucking W's to that. But since just it's, it's LeBron, oh what, what? What? So it's LeBron. It's not cool, it's, bro. People are so biased. It's just sad, bro. See, back in 2005, Damon's Heat were taking on the Cavs. When thanks to LeBron, Damon suffered the most humiliating moment of his entire career. Well, it started off kind of crazy. I I turned the ball over, and uh, it was a two-on-one situation. And this is what I'm talking about with Damon Jones. McGinnis has the ball. Force him to shoot the ball. I went to jump. And as I jumped, I saw him, he was a lot higher than I was. Instead, we got LeBron James jumping over everybody. I should have let him dunk it, but the natural reaction is try to get out of the way. So I duck. So he dunks the ball and then hits me in the head, and they give him the foul. Two on one. Here's McKinnis with a high triple. Oh! oh. oh. <laughs> I had 65 calls, 65 messages, 35 from NBA players. That hurt me. Damn, it's like Bron gave this man Vietnam flashbacks. And uh, I think Golden State's gonna be having some flashbacks too. Cause we gotta talk about the time that LeBron gave the Warriors the most humiliating L in NBA history. See, back in 2016, LeBron's Cavs were down three games to one against the Golden State Warriors in the NBA Finals. And one more loss would have officially eliminated Cleveland from the playoffs. But going into game five, something interesting happened. LeBron did an interview where he said the Warriors were talking too much trash. And in response, Klay Thompson decided to disrespect LeBron, saying, Um, I guess his feelings just got hurt. Yeah, that's not going to go over well. Because when a reporter told LeBron about it, Dude, Clay Thompson, bro. You would have had one more ring if you never said that line, bro. You would have had one more ring. <sighs> well, this happened. What did you say Clay said? Clay said, I guess he just got his feelings hurt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Um... I believe the transcript will support that. <laughs> <laughs> This was when things became personal. Because after this incident, LeBron went on to humiliate the Warriors, averaging 36 points, 12 rebounds, 10 assists, pulling off one of the most iconic blocks of all time, and winning three straight games to complete the greatest comeback in NBA Finals history. So after a loss this bad, the Warriors are feeling pretty humiliated. But LeBron just had to keep rubbing it in because he not only wore an ultimate warrior t-shirt the very next day, but a few months later, LeBron also hosted a Halloween party where they made fun of Golden State with Curry and Clay tombstone cookies, a three to one lead banner. I mean, he even had a Steph Curry dummy that people had to walk over to get in. This man, Bron, is a psycho. But you know who else is a psycho? You, if you don't click on this video right here, these are the weirdest mysteries in NBA history. What the hell is this thumbnail? Explosion last night at Toronto Raptors court? What? Bro, what even is that? No, like literally, what is this video? These are the weirdest mysteries in NBA history. Great. And first up, we Great. got the time that the OKC Thunder Here we had an unexplainable encounter 30,000 feet in the. Dude, this is how this guy gets millions of views. Because you're like, all right, I got to click on that. Like, what the fuck? What explosion on a court? What, what are you even talking about? Air. See, back in 2017, the Thunder were on a flight to Chicago when 
All of a sudden, a loud thud echoed across the cabin, and the plane started to shake unnaturally. This was not turf. Wait, I watched this? <laughs> 